I love straight people, obviously. <laughs> but it's nice to work with somebody who's, you know, like like yourself. You oh, know? totally. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. nice to have a... That's why I work with Morgan, because I'm also crazy. I, I, I put the tie on to hide it. But we're very similar in a lot of well, ways. Well, I'm oh, crazy yeah. too. Yeah. So we're all. All right, nice. We're gonna start another rock and roll band. <laughs> 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 How's it going, folks? My name is Morgan Lapin, and I have no choice. And this is Lucky Time Explosion! <laughs> wow, boop a doop boo What? <laughs> yeah. You have no choice in what? Well, I didn't have a choice. My parents made me and named me. Yeah, so, <laughs> so I didn't here ask I to be born, Mom. Yeah. That kind of vibe. Well, we have a choice of guest, and this week <laughs> we have Michael Ryder. What's up, Yay. Michael? How are you doing? Hi. I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, you're so welcome. Thanks for coming on. Michael is um, a painter and a musician. You'll be playing a little song for us later. Yes, yeah. Ooh, also nice. part Stick of the around. Solace community. That's right. Mm-hmm. Another artist from Solace community. We have a strong community here. Yeah, we have a lot of amazing artists here. So yeah, quick word from the sponsor, Solace. Come here for your prints, your business cards, your flyers, your t-shirts, your merch, your help and with your website. Forget, next week, Yes. there's a week. show coming up here yes, at Solace. It's going to be the showcase. Summer Showcase. Yeah, yeah. where are we located again? 24th and Park, 117 it's East fancy. 24th Street. It's They're nice. like, oh, near... Near the uh, the flat iron, I'm like, yeah. I stopped like, saying flat iron because every time I say flat iron building, or every time I say flat iron, meaning the neighborhood, they go, oh, you're in the flat iron building. And I'm like, no, no, I'm, I'm next to it. <laughs> I'm near it. It's close we, enough. Where is Gramercy? I thought we were in. Well, yeah. Like we're close to Gramercy. That's true. Yeah. Gramercy like, is. Um, it's like a street over or something. I actually or? don't even know. I feel like they're, it's really, really close by. We're really close to Gramercy Park. Uh, yeah, which yeah. is a park that you cannot <laughs> enter unless you live off of it. They yeah. have keys. Yeah. Right. It's very well, exclusive. Do you know, do you remember the band Deadsy, right? No. Share Son. Oh. And he has a song called The Key to Gramercy Park. Oh, nice. And they had like two albums. And I have to say, they had the whole, like, they dressed up like futuristic. Uh, pretty good band though actually as cheesy as they were yeah you can go back they covered a rush song i think limelight or something like that and they crush it that's nice but uh yeah i think he's been you know back and forth in his relationship with Cher because she wants to take over be a conservative have be have like a conservatorship over him or something because he's Mm. uh, doing so well and then his wife tried to oh yeah something where they she tried to have him kidnapped what? Did you read about this? I, no, no, I did not. I yes. saw the headlines, though. Yeah. And oh, yeah. She, something where Cher had her his her son kidnapped or something, something like that to stop him from doing drugs. I don't know. You have to look into. You know, Cher wild. is a Taurus, and I'm also a Taurus, and we're very possessive. Yeah. So, you know, that's, we well, we will do that. <laughs> we, we love you. We love you, and we're really good to you. And we care for you, but we will abduct you. Mm. <laughs> Warning out there for all Taurus uh, adjacent people. <laughs> Watch out for We're them. sweet, but don't mess with us. I'm an Aquarius, and uh, a like, lot of yeah. people like say I'm crazy or something for that reason. You know, there's a, that, like that a, meme that says my mom that. is an Aquarius. She's, yeah, she's not crazy. Well, she made you. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> That man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Michael, how you been? What you I've been, been up good. to? I've been. Um, I've been. I'm kind of in like my like more of a quiet season because Mm -hmm. um, I've been working on my new album Mm -hmm. and just recording and trying to play open mics in the city and playing new material and um, yeah, just just dating, I think. What number album is this for you? This will be my fifth album. Wow. Yeah, I have a lot. That's impressive. Yeah, that's a lot of albums. I have like two, I, I think I have worked on like one or two in my life and it felt like that was a big effort you're doing this all solo too right kind of kind of well i'm i'm doing it like i'm i'm i it's your solo project yeah right. yes yeah do you exactly, have any yeah. guest uh musicians laying down tracks with you um well this album i am just working with my producer but ah. before i've worked with musicians and so it's pure yeah. it's just you it's just me and I'm the myth, my producer, which is like, yeah, it's cool. Nice. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. Who's the producer? Who's, who's working on it? So, M, is a secret. M the myth is 
a non-binary pop artist. Um, we met at the Sidewalk Cafe, and yeah, they're just like super amazing. It's the first time that Em and I have like worked fully together, um, and kind of nobody else, um, which is which is great. I that's never been my experience pure before. Michael. So pure Michael, pure non-binary <laughs> energy. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. In me energy. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. 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 I mean, I yeah. I well, love. I I, mm-hmm. I love. I love straight people, obviously. <laughs> but it's nice to work with somebody who's you know like like yourself. Oh, you know? totally. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. nice to have a. That's why I work with Morgan because I'm also crazy. I I, I put the tie on to hide it. But we're very similar in a lot of ways. Well, I'm oh, crazy yeah. too. Yeah. So we're all. All oh, right. Nice. We're gonna start another rock and roll band. <laughs> <laughs> This one will be very influenced by Danny Kay. Oh. Uh, you know Danny Kay? No, no. Well, Danny no. Kay is an old timey actor, probably the 40s, I was it? Born and raised in Brooklyn. But he danced, he sang, he did a little this, and he did a little that. That's awesome. My, yeah, you know, Michael's good. also multi talented. Yeah. And I am a huge, huge, huge fan of your paintings, your oil Thank paintings. You. You're an abstract artist. Uh, I, I don't know if you'd call it. You call it expressionism too, like abstract. It's kind of like yeah. Oh yeah. Abstract expressionism. Mm-hmm. Yeah, really moody stuff. Really beautiful yeah. compositions. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think your painting is just excellent. And I would love more people to see it. Actually, here, uh, since we're on YouTube, I might oh as well show God. people. Oh God. Look at this. There's some paintings. Wow. There's some art up here. And don't forget, oh if you're God. listening to us, uh, you know, just streaming audio, remember, we're on YouTube. You can see these things. Yes. That's true. Yeah. With your eyeballs. We have half hour episodes uh, for free on all major platforms and on YouTube with video. And then we have an extended uh, audio version through our Patreon. So. Go check that out as well. Ooh, yes. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Do you ever use Patreon? I I do. Yeah. I have have you Patreon. liked it? Yeah. I yeah. I yeah. I do like it. I yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think like everything else is just like sometimes I y- yeah, I do like it. Nice. <laughs> well, as as long as it puts shekels in your pocket. You got to do it. You got to yes, do it. Yeah. Rupees. Shekels and rupees. What's your lowest tier? I've been thinking about uh, starting maybe a dollar tier to unlock the audio episodes. Right now we're at five uh, is the lowest one, but I think I might I might even go lower. And if no Try one starts to them. sign up, my face is going to have them tears. <laughs> oh my god! <gosh. laughs> oh, we got our first uh, we got our first mega fifty dollar month uh, Patreon nice. recently, which is great. So exciting okay. for that! Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm giving myself a Three Stooges okay. eye poke right now. Boink 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 boink. <laughs> Ow, that hurt! Why did yeah. I do that? <laughs> Anyways, uh, Michael, are you going to have some painting in the show for summer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm having a painting called Acclivity. Ooh, nice. on, this is the out. 16th, right? Yes, 16th, July 16th. This come is a over. Big show. Come check it out. Yeah, You're going to want to have out. the RSVP. We're going to yeah. give you yeah. information yeah. soon, but let me tell you, you want to get on this list. <laughs> That's right, you do. Because we're not going to let anyone else in. Yeah, it's exclusive. we exclusive. Oh. Big tough characters waiting for you downstairs to be nice to you. You're like, <laughs> oh, menacing. They're like, hey, how's it going? want to hang out and be like oh shit come <laughs> we, up to the art show i feel like we need those characters because well we need those bouncers because mm. the shows get kind of wild if oh yeah they can like be free for all <laughs> yeah yeah we yeah. gotta rein it in we gotta rein it start it's kicking like people out when yeah. when solace does art shows you know yeah. when it's uh black uh friday and they storm like walmart yeah that's what it's like yeah people just they gotta get in you know they because there's only so art. many artworks for sale and, and once yeah. those people get in they're ripping them off the walls and um, they're foaming know. at the mouth it's not through the alcohol i think <laughs> people are off. Yeah, I wonder what happened. I want to do cucumber water next time. Just cucumber oh, water. Just water. Just water. Just water. Hydrate, <laughs> you drunk losers. Oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> hey, <laughs> excuse me? Uh, <laughs> Are you talking to me? I don't see anybody else here in the room. You're talking to me? <laughs> uh, when did you start painting? Where, where did your, when did your journey start in fine art? And, and what is it like for you living in New York as a as multi talent artist? What do you love about it? Um, well,. I actually started painting really late. Um, yeah, I I did musical theater before, like music was my first love. And did you were you in a drama club in high school? N- no, it was actually it was like a theater group 
that was outside of school. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. So, what productions yeah, did you do? What you? I did. I did a lot. I did. I did like twelve shows. What's your but, your favorite? Well, I did Charlie Brown, and I was Woodstock. Oh shit! And that was that's really awesome. cute. That oh, was fun. Woodstock. <laughs> that was cute. That is so yeah. cool. You didn't have to remember too many lines, though. Clearly, <laughs> I there was no line. <laughs> that's the best. That's, <laughs> that's what I was showing up and like, not having to you say. You just anything. get to float around, Snoopy <laughs> exactly. and just chill. Like, just yeah. look cute. That's awesome. I wasn't that's good at memorizing play. lines. I was in a fifth grade play, and they had me play both Santa Claus and Grandpa. And I guess because I'm like the tallest kid at the time, but I remembered everything. I, I got everything right except I forgot ho ho ho. That's the only line I forgot. I forgot to That's say awesome. ho, ho, ho. I was like, you know, you this is an alternative. Nervous. I guess so. I don't know. It happened. Maybe I, you thought I you were grandpa when you were Santa. Maybe you thought you were Santa when you were grandpa. But maybe grandpa is Santa. Whoa, I mind know, blown. Deep thoughts. Kind of, actually. You know, well, for me, of course, growing up, I'm the Jewish kid. I'm like, you know, Santa doesn't exist. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, no. <laughs> oh, and they're like, tell my mom. Well, you're going to get crappy presents for eight days. <laughs> Santa is real. I'm like, I, pff, yeah, right, whatever. Slide now. Like, he's so big. How does he really fit down that fucking chimney? They're you like, can't. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Michael, did you believe in Santa before he just ruined it for you? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh no, uh, no. <laughs> You did it Fuck I lo- I lo- I'm sorry <laughs> I can't believe you I'm, I know It's like telling someone the Titanic sinks at the end you Yeah know? It's like It's rough man it's rough. Uh, how many? You used to, do you still play it? Is Sidewalk still around? Sidewalk's still no, there, right? No, Sidewalk is not. <gasps> what? Yeah. When they did it close? They closed in 2018. Holy shit. Yeah. Sh- how did I not uh, even know I have, that? I have the craziest Sidewalk story. Sorry. Oh, nice. So this is, I was there the last day that it was open, and they did a big mic, and I'm a huge Regina Spector fan. Right. And she, the reason why I played there, and I remember that... Um, it was getting a bit rowdy. I was like there basically all day. And um, and I decided to leave because it was like getting too wild. And then when I got home, somebody was live streaming the event. And freaking Regina Spector was at Sidewalk Cafe playing <laughs> the same piano that I had played like five hours earlier. It makes sense that she would come back for the last show, right? Of that. Because it kind of launched her career, right? That's like where she used yeah. to play all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah. I yeah, played there once. <gasps> you did? I did, yeah, with my band, the Bushwick Gospel Singers, which used to be on Spotify until they removed us for not having enough plays or somebody didn't pay the bill. I don't know no, why we're out there. No, probably anymore. didn't pay the uh, Mike, tune core. Or Mike one Lewis, of those. I'm looking at you, buddy. Why didn't you pay the quarters? No, <laughs> but, I had to do that recently, too. My old band, Baba Yaga, we were just yeah. listening to them recently. I shared it with Michael and yeah, the it was group. exciting. Yeah. And um, yeah, it disappeared. And I had to call my bass player and be like, yo, Zach, you got to... You gotta pay the thing. We're using like distro kit code. or something. Play your distro one of those. Kit. Yeah, yeah. distro kit. It's either you know distro it. kit oh or tune core. Or one of those. Oh, it was tune core. core. Tune core is the one right. we're using. You gotta pay the piper. You gotta pay That's someone right. to have you. Right. But YouTube is free. That's why. Well, my I, my uh, story from Sidewalk was after we were done. Like we we you know we were in a nine or ten person band. And a lot of us were like professional audio people and, and or, you know, Mike, who I was just yelling at, he used to like edit Super Bowl commercials for Nokia. So like we we knew what we were doing at these sets. And sometimes, you know, there'd be a house sound person uh, at, a, at a bigger venues. You know, they have people on staff all the time. Uh, and then at Sidewalk, we had a sound person we didn't know we were going to have or ask for. Oh my gosh. And they were nice enough. And we were like, okay, fine, if you're here. And then after the gig, they come up to us with like their palm open, like coffin, you know, <clears throat> you have to pay me. What? And I'm like, what? What do you mean we have to pay you? I'm like, doesn't the venue pay me? You pay you? And they're like, no. And I'm like, well, I didn't what? know we'd have to pay you. Where did this person like appear from, by the way? Maybe they weren't even associated. Maybe they're just some random person on the sidewalk you who know saw what? a band and was like, I'm going to just jump behind the deck and pretend. But uh, yeah, I was like, that's kind of weird. And I got like, we were shaking us down for money. I don't remember I, if we gave him anything. I think I did. I up. bet you anything that's probably what happened. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. Some person went really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that it's. Just either like the, that, either that, or they were hustling you, and they did work there, and they were just like, "Yeah, you, you like your itch- you like your legs, you like your legs." 
that's... I like your legs, too, but I can simply break them for you, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> Move to New York, everybody. Yeah, <laughs> that's, how it's, that's how it's like, Eddie. No, I love it here. <laughs> well, you have any other weird stories about, like, bad venues? You don't have to name them or anything, but there's always, like, funny <sighs> venue stories, I think. Um, Mine you was, know, mm-hmm. I do, well... I, I, a shout out to Electric Maid in DC. They nice. were kind of they were they were a fun venue. What a name! I Electric love that name, Maid, Electric yeah. Maid. Electric yeah. Maid. Yeah, Electric oh. Maid. They don't exist anymore, but I do remember that. Oh my gosh, that sounds like some like hentai stuff. Electric Maid. You know they're <laughs> pro- like you know I, it's, that's probably what that's yeah I don't know I I remember once I mm. I only played there I played there and been there once but in the middle of a very serious set, Mm. one of the speakers that was kind of like attached to the ceiling started to like fall down and the sound person. (laughs) Oh my God, they saved you? Well, nobody was in danger, but but the speaker was in danger of like falling down. And that's, that was kind of, that was. Oh my God, they saved your life. It was gonna crush you to death. (laughs) And they jumped on stage and held it back. It was, yeah. This is just dramatic for the podcast, you know? (laughs) Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where's your yeah, your, your favorite venue? That it doesn't have to exist anymore. But what what would have been? What well what is? Well, overall? I have two. I have two. Uh, both in Bushwick because I used to spend a lot of time there. Now I'm like uh, in Manhattan all the time. And there's some good ones here, of course. But my old favorite's Goodbye Blue Mondays. Oh and yes, of that? course. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, we, it's on. It was on Broadway. Now it's um it's next to that. Uh, Oh God! I can't even remember the lion name, Wolf's Den or something. Oh the white no! Wolf. I know you're talking about. It, it's something completely different now, but it was it's a called junk the store. Looking Glass, I think. That's and it's, right. It's. I mean, it's not what anybody who is listening to this that remembers Goodbye Blue Monday. That was an experience. That was something was awesome. very special that existed for a while, and um, it was a I junk mean, store. That yeah, turned that was, into that a place venue. Is amazing. Have you ever, Mike, oh, Mike wow. ever go there? No. You don't know. No, How know. long ago would you say now? Oh God, I don't know a, a thousand years. A Back long time. when my I hips would, were good. Oh maybe my even God. like ten years. Yeah, maybe it's, even like ten. It's years. been about ten years, probably. It but, was a real wow. special place. So just the kind of performers that you saw there, you can't really find anywhere else. It was, it was the be... nitty gritty. You'd have gypsies show up. You'd have pe- travelers. You can't you'd say have... that. No. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta bleep, you whap, have to bleep it bleep out. Bleep it out. Boom. Really? Yeah. So what? What do you? What? Are, what, what is? What's <laughs> it depends the word? on what you meant, I guess. Just. Travelers. You mean literal travelers? No, yeah, travelers. First no, of all, Maddox. I feel like gypsy is a very sexy word. Like it is. You know, it's gypsy. one of those that I think like, is. Oh, uh, it has a negative gypsy. connotation that ah, people don't like, but I like think witchery? it's good. Like witchery. Like what's so bad about like? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> It's like that song, you know, gypsies, rams, and thieves. They heard it from the people of the town. You know, like they you heard it from the people things, of town. The people of town them. calling you bad names. I don't know. I, I think that we're, <laughs> it, we, it was sometimes we're sensitive, but I also think that, uh, you know, it's a good thing that everyone's like being nicer these days. Uh, well, I don't you know? even, well, okay, this is the thing about yeah. that is that I feel like it's like, okay, we are evolving and we, we have to keep up, keep our standards up, you know? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. the other song, Gypsy Woman. Have some standards. Ooh, gypsy some Woman. Standards. Yeah. Is that a yellow? Ooh, Gypsy Woman. Yeah, now it just sounds like this on the radio. Oh, beep. Yeah, so you're gonna, oh, you, you can't, can't say s- woman anymore either. It's, uh, it's not allowed. I'm just oh, kidding. I'm kidding. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we're packing up. This show is yeah. over. <laughs> <laughs> True. All right, back on. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. My favorite current venue is definitely Wonderville. Uh, oh yes. I've been there. Oh, uh, it is. Uh, it's like a heaven. It's like mecca for me. It's a. Uh, it's it's just a. Yeah. The music. Uh, even if the music's not. Uh, it, they have great bands. They have all these different acts and stuff. But the venue itself is a hub for local game developers. Oh. Uh, and it oh. is a barcade that is free to play. Uh, wow. th- it's all free to play, and every like machine in there is like a custom made machine from local game developers with like games you'll never find other what? places. It's so cool. You got to check. I'm it out. going there today. And, yeah, and there's a stage there too, so oh, they'll yeah. book you. Yeah, yeah, you can okay. play there. Yeah, my oh, favorite, yeah, my favorite of all time was the cake shop. 
Yeah, cake, cake shop's shop. great. The cake shop was so Did cool. It was a real cake shop that sold cake and coffee, and downstairs was the venue, and there was no stage. It was just like ground levels, like this small little room, and um, I saw a lot of great shows at that place. I, that, we talk about him here and there, or Stevie Moore, I saw him play yeah. there. That was a great show. I uh, saw a band called Train Dodge there. Love Train Dodge. Crazy name. If you haven't heard of Train Dodge, you like some heavy music. Check I had him out. <laughs> Train Dodge. Horrible very name. graphic. A uh, very graphic uh, name. But they got out of the way. A picture they didn't in your get mind. hit. Train Dodge. They, like they, the they almost got hit. That's true. Because then otherwise it would be like hit by train. <laughs> like what else? Uh, my friend's band was Train vs. Auto, and they saw that on that's a, uh, rough a name. sign. I hate to say it. Train vs. Auto. There are certain bands that like, I love this I English like band name. called Elbow. That's oh, worse. You yeah. like Elbow? I actually... I Very know. good music. Yeah. Horrible name. Elbow? <laughs> like, you couldn't come up with anything better than... Everyone's hey, sitting around. Hey, there's a lot around. of stuff. Come on. There's fucking a lot elbow? of stuff. It was either that or kneecap. There's and too I guess many bands. I guess elbow is better than fucking kneecap. You know, elbow looks good, though. In the, the it's an words. Interesting it does. Or the letters. Gra yeah, it's got an E and yeah. L. That's yeah. very cool. Anytime you have yeah. an E and an L together is cool. It's so confusing. Yeah. I don't know Do why. Do I hate it? Do I love it? I'm it's so confused. El cool. Well, okay, so now the sidewalk's <laughs> gone. Do you have a favorite venue that you like to play? Um... It's Lucky Time Explosion. Stick around for the performance after the video. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Was that staged? That was no. good. Damn, was good. I sound like I have, I don't. No, you're, you're too busy. And you're out doing say, a lot of I different venues. Know. We record in front of a live audience. There's actually 300 people in front of us. They're yeah. just really quiet. And they're all ready with tomatoes. Yes, that happens. Oh that you, you pay for that footage through Patreon. <laughs> Don't go to Patreon hoping to see a smash with tomatoes. It's not there. And or if you do, actually do it, and then I will throw tomatoes at Morgan. Yeah, you can make a request. <laughs> we do request videos. We'll put that under Patreon too. If you we'll want to sit on whatever us. kind of produce you like, we're shameless. Yeah. You know, oh, you know, yeah. I will say that that um, Rockwood Stage Three yeah. is really good, but they, I don't think they exist anymore. Either. Rockwood's gone too. That's uh, Stage Three. Stage Three. The, I think the okay. other two. So now they're maybe Stage, stage Four. At some point, they had th just three they there. Have one and two. They have well, one and two. if they're already out of, yeah. you know, wait, don't have a picture? zero. Four is um, bound to happen. Four is bound. <laughs> it's true. There's like a lobster joint on the other side of there. I've never, you know, it's like the city lobster, fancy lobster cafe, and then, I, I used to go to Rockwood all the time. Stage three was fun. You could see a lot of people there, and they're usually free, like right, or there's like a drink minimum or something. This stage one is is typically free. Is it really? It's like a big mm -hmm. one. I thought. Yeah. Wow. The stage. I don't know why stage three wasn't. It's was like stage two yeah. is the is the one. You I think there was stage, stage point six too, and that was confusing because it was in between both of them. It's actually in a different dimension. Yeah. It's in a There's a portal. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> slip behind the piano. <laughs> that would be awesome. That's true. You could, that would be cool. Shit. But yeah, I'm excited for your upcoming show here, Michael, as well. Not just the, oh mu my the music, but your paintings, uh, the oh tornadoes. Wow. Oh, wow, Brandon, you just spilled the beans here. I mean, the lucky time. series. Oh, shit. Okay, I, didn't, no, I, I no, forgot. No, we should unveil it here. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Yeah. It's, it's amazing. So you need to come out and get it on your calendar. I didn't know yeah. about this series, and now I'm so excited. Oh, my God. It's a yes. beautiful series of work. It's a really beautiful series of work. I mean, we're not spilling the beans if we don't show it you know you, you can say a word i think well, the, title, I don't know. the title gives it away kind of the title does give it away a little bit <laughs> The, we're gonna call the show that, right? Well, the though. new twisters, yeah, yeah, yeah. new twisters okay. coming out. This is me talking myself out of a hole. I'm the like, uh oh, twister. What? It's the, back. They're I remember out with that. The new one. Twi no, it's the new it's, twister. New. Oh god, yeah. why can't they just make an original movie? I know. <sighs> what movie would you not want to see remade? <laughs> What's the one I movie that if they, they remade, really you'll riot? Remake any movie. Yeah, just, I like, agree. We should have some new man. ideas. Yeah, or new things. Yeah. The, like the Michael Ryder story. Yeah. The tale of Michael Ryder painting and singing in the city. That's right. That's right. <laughs> wow, yeah. We'll get Harmony Corinne to direct. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you, you ever see any of his movies? No? No. Kids? Gummo. Uh, Gummo's my favorite, probably. Ken Park. I know yeah. all of you love Ken Park. 
Oh God. I've heard it. Um, Michael, have you ever been to Miami? Do you like, do you go to Basel? Or I, I did. I, I have gone to Miami mm-hmm. for, I was in, I was in Young Arts. I oh, did Young nice. Arts with Timothy Chalamet actually. Oh, wow. I was in my class. Which is kind of crazy. I call him <laughs> Timothy Shamalama Ding Dong because that's all I can remember. <laughs> True that. Oh, I brought it up because Harmony Corinne now has a studio uh, in Miami. Oh, cool. That's so like great. pretty crazy uh, looking. What hap- What does he do there? Uh, that's the question. I know it's like multimedia, you video, find out art, about this. big studio. Sounds cool. Dude. I, amazing I didn't know. Art cool. in Miami. Yeah. I was at like an artist group uh, in off of uh, Thompson Square Park and somebody had just gotten back from Miami and was describing it. Uh, I forget the name of it right now. I'll try to put it in the description if I remember it, but uh, sounds really cool. Very weird scene, you know. Yeah, super weird. Yeah, it's going to be a weird scene, like, you know, people with horse heads on and weird like dancing people and a lot of like dead. I mean, I've mm. only been there once. I was only there for a week and we did see a lot of studios, but there was like What's that word, macabre? Macabre. Or, or, yeah, there's yeah. Like a lot of that. The R is silent, but I always say it anyway. Macabre. 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 It's like macabre on the corn. Corn on the cob. Corn on the macabre. Womp, womp, womp. That's it. I'm firing myself. Sorry. Quit it now. What's your favorite vegetable? Oh, my gosh. Wow. <laughs> Actually, what is it? <laughs> What's my favorite vegetable? Yeah. Um, fuck, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's a zap you know, cucumber. Cucumber's cucumber is kind of nice. Do you remember the song about cucumber that got that blew up a few years uh, ago? Yeah, <laughs> you do remember, right? The regular cucumber yes. song. What's the deal with cucumbers and cats? Uh, they're scared of them because they look like snakes. Yeah, but they don't move. Yeah, but they're long. Not all of them. <laughs> True. You ever see the, the reaction when you, you put a, a cucumber in your cat? Yeah. Oh, they, they, hate they fucking it. freak out. They they I wonder out. if they, they freak it. out for pickles. You know, there's only one way to try. You need I to go get like, a cat. I feel like somebody created that on the internet. But maybe is if that, it's a is kitten. That real? Because I think it's then real. the cat's smaller when it's a kitten, mm-hmm. technically. Yeah. And so if you put a pickle next to a kitten, you would think that that kitten would be scared and upset. <laughs> There's only one way uh, to find this out is you got to go get a kitten and a There's pickle. Actually, you know what? Don't get... do that. Please do don't mean? do that. No, that's exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> Actually, I think there's a, a pickle that's been in the fridge here at this oh studio for the last two oh, years. Oh, no, no, no. I threw that away. I threw oh, that away. Yeah. That oh, thing was, you got rid of that pickle. That pickle's been there as long as I've been here. I know. That's why I had to get rid of it. Yeah, but it was in a plastic package. All good things have to come to an end. That's I guess right. So. They do. They do. <laughs> Tossing pickles. It's <laughs> fucked up, bro. <laughs> What did that? Let me ask you something. What yeah. did the pickle do to you? <laughs> it, it just uh, got. It just was there too long. No, you know? it didn't get rotten. It was protected by this that, crazy shit that's in our bloodstreams now. It was one of those um, gas station pickles, like in a plastic bag of juice that you see at the gas it's like station. Like a hot pickle. Yeah, a hot pickle. Can't believe you tossed the hot pickle. Sorry, I tossed the hot pickle. Fuck. I didn't want to look at it anymore. It was making me sick. Mm. I hated it. <laughs> anyway, speaking of getting sick, how do you paint uh, oils in your in your place? Do you have a studio? No, no. I I well, so I would paint on my roof actually, mm. but That's I awesome. I don't I I paint in my apartment, which is a, a little studio, and Just I don't know how I don't get sick. Can mm. I ask you something? Maybe you got brain. This worms. goes. Uh, out to both of you. What? Yeah, like uh, RFK. Oh, yes. Fucking RFK. <laughs> Who's making an RFK? Like, Imagine if he was really allowed to debate he in, will in, be. between, in between Biden and he, Trump. That, that would have been insane, dude. That would have been insane. great. Insane. It would have been even better television. I don't know how we, we <laughs> skip it this time. <laughs> Morgan goes hard on his RFK impression. Terrible. But anyway, uh, yeah, so you're painting in your I apartment. Apologize. When did you start <laughs> painting? When did you start doing oil paint? Well, um, oil paint, I started in, I went to, um, I went to like an art magnet school in high school oh. and shout out to Mary Scurlock, who was my teacher and she was like my mentor and please Very Google nice. her if you're going to look at my art because she's incredible. She's like the real deal. Yes. And actually speaking um, of that, where can people Google you? 
Where can they um, follow you? They can go to Michael W. Ryder or MichaelWRyder.com or Michael Ryder. Amazing. My, yeah, my Michael Ryder. That's going to be the end of the video free show. We're going to keep <gasps> oh uh, talking with Michael for a minute. So please join <gasps> us on Patreon for the full extended episode. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for listening. And we hope to see you next time. See Bye. You next time.